you guys, so today I have swatches of the Anniversary Trio from Native War Paints. Um, these are just three polishes that they released to celebrate their one year anniversary. These are available right now, so I will link Native War Paints down below where you guys can check these out and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Silver Nickels, and this is a clear-based glitter topper with all holographic silver hexes. There are large hexes all the way down to very small ones, and there's also a fine silver micro-glitter running throughout this as well. And I'm layering this one over Orly's On the Edge. So here is Silver Nickels. This one is definitely more of a topper. I don't think it's one that could be worn on its own. I'm getting a good amount of the hex glitters out without having to fish or swirl, but I am not getting any of the larger ones out without any work. But this does apply really, really smoothly. It has a good like, glitter to base ratio. It's very, very easy to apply. You have to do just a tiny bit of dabbing on those hexes just to keep from swiping them back off the nail. So there is Silver Nickels. The next polish is called A Dream Come True, and this is a pink holographic micro glitter in a clear base. This is another one that I think would be best off as a topper, but this one you might be able to get opaque on its own in a few coats or with a sponge. And I'm layering this one over Orly's Be Daring. So here is A Dream Come True. This one again has a really good glitter to base ratio. I feel like I have an easier time getting the chunky glitters out of this one without any swirling than I did with the last one. It takes a little bit of manipulation just to make sure you don't swipe the large glitters right back off after you apply them, but it's not that bad. So there is a dream come true. So the next polish is called Nifty Shifty, and this is kind of a black jelly base with a kind of multi-chrome, duo-chrome mixed into it. It goes from a blue to a little bit of a purple, and then there are also shifting multi-chrome flakies in there. I see ones that go from green to gold to pink, or rather pink green to gold, and I don't know. This is just a really, really cool, unique polish. So I am layering this one over Sally Hansen's Blackout. So here's one coat of Nifty Shifty. For my swatch pictures, I did layer this one up to opaque on its own. It took about four coats though, so I think your best bet for this one would be to wear it as a topper. This has a good formula. It's really smooth, really easy to apply, and you get those flakies on your brush without having to swirl or fish at all. So there is Nifty Shifty. So my favorite polish in this collection is Silver Nickels. I really, really like holographic glitter, um, silver holographic glitter, and I do really like the mix of the very, very fine micro glitter with the chunkier glitters. I feel like, I mean, I know I've seen this before because it's not like the most unique thing ever, but I just I don't know why this one stood out to me so much. So really, really liked that one. So again, those are available right now, so I will link Native War Paints down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.